Hello, Shalom. It's me, Mackie, again. Um, I posted my first video last evening, and well, it hasn't got any views yet, but I didn't, I did expect that as it was just an intro video. So we are getting started today. I said last night in my video that my first advice column, top ten post, was going to be for those who are in or about to be in different schools, elementary, middle, high school, and college. I was going to do four. So my first one, because I feel that it is the most tedious time, hard time of life, is going to be middle school. Mmm, favorite time for everyone. So, top ten, first Number one is when you're in middle school, try to listen to your parents. Now, I know, like, my pa my mother nags me too, my dad nagged me too, family nags, they always nag, it's their job, but, um, like, they've also been through middle school, as, I mean, I'm realizing now they've been through middle school, they've been between the ages of 11 and 15, they know how difficult it is. They can see you making the same decisions right before their eyes that they don't want you to make, so just, you don't have to listen to them, but I'm saying more along the lines of take what they say into consideration. Because your parents love you and they're smart. Um, number two, and this is going to be really sad for those of you who are going into sixth grade, you will have homework on the weekends when you are in middle school. Say goodbye to the days of those nice sheets in elementary school where you had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then every Friday you could see, have a nice weekend, go play, woo! Unfortunately, that is not the case. Um, in middle school, like, now, it, now it's not going to be a lot of work, obviously, but I'm saying you will have stuff to do on the weekends, homework and stuff. Because you'll be getting more, you will do a few projects, I'm assuming, in elementary school, but you'll be getting, they'll be, like, more complex in middle school. So, you'll be doing those on the weekends. Also, if you, especially if you have a, um, like I did, a, um, oh gosh, what is it called? Like, a two-day schedule, where you have, like, four classes one day that are an hour and a half, and then four different classes the next day that are an hour and a half, block scheduling, that's what it's called, um, you'll more than likely have homework on the weekends because you'll be budgeting two different, you know, what day is Monday, two different sets and days of classes that you have to deal with. Um, number three is study. This goes along with the homework on the weekends. Once you get to middle school, you switch classes. You're going to have seven different classes. I mean... You're going to have to study, because you're going to be getting into electives, like maybe you take a language, different sciences, you know, like it's just, when it comes time for testing, and you will have time, especially if you have a block schedule, because you'll have an hour and a half to take a test, I wish I had that much time, um, just, you need to study, just try to keep your grades up, and like, just know go off of what you, how you know yourself, because some people are visual learners, audio learners, whatever you are, do it. Whatever is the best for you, do it. However much study time, or however little study time, if you understand a topic, you know, just do what you feel is best for you, okay? Alright, that was number three. Number four, and this is really, really important, alright, like, really important, especially in middle school. Keep good people around you. Now, this doesn't mean that if one of your friends after elementary school decides to be a shithead, that you don't have to be friends with them anymore. No, 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 no. Not the case. What I simply mean is that keep, try to associate and hang out with people who you know are not going to get you in trouble. In middle school, people will start 
it, it, basically middle school is the age where people start doing everything. You know, smoking weed, smoking cigarettes, having sex. You don't want to do that, all right? Mm 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 mm. Save that crap for later. Um, you know, just and then also it'll help keep you on track and sane. Because middle school, you're moving into a whole new environment, especially with the switching classes. You'll have kids there from other schools. It'll be kids from your elementary school, but also from, like, three or four other ones, at least where I went. Um, so, you know, it, it'll help. It's easier to navigate this time of your life unstressed, like, with, without having to deal with some, you know, your friend, like, or your friends going, oh, hey, dude, let's go do, let's go do this, let's go do that, like, screw homework, dude, come on, man, mm -mm, don't do it, don't do it, and then, number five, this goes along with keeping sane, keep sane by expressing yourself, now, I thought I'd throw this in there just because people, This is typically the time when bullying starts. Middle school is the, and will be, for those of you who are in 5th grade, going into 6th grade watching this, the most awkward, weird, odd time of your life. So, whatever it takes for you to have a healthy self-expression, do it. If you can draw, draw. If you can paint, paint. If you sing, sing, dance anything. Like, middle school was where I got into singing. I got into chorus in seventh grade and stayed until my freshman year of college, but I had a bad experience freshman year of college, but we'll get into that later. Um, if I do a college video, are your requests. Um, just, and, and then when I say healthy, I do mean healthy. You know, don't do not deal with your problems by drinking. Do not deal with your problems by getting into fights. Do not deal with, you know, none of that. I mean healthy forms of expression. You know, something just to chill out. Because, again, you're moving into a different environment. It's stressful. You need a de-stressor sometimes. We all do. It's okay. Now, number six. And this was more for me. And granted, this isn't... I don't know if this is every middle school, but this was certainly mine. Bring your lunch if you can. Like, just get, you know, a little lunchbox. Like, you can find a middle school appropriate lunchbox. It doesn't have to be a freaking Power Rangers lunchbox. You can get, like, a very Bradley one. I had one. Um, but bring your lunch if you can, because the way that they set it up back in... <laughs> I'm waving my imaginary cane. Back in my day, when I was in middle school, is just... They would have about 10 classes in one cafeteria. We had three because we had an outdoor campus. And they would sit down and they would call you up in line class by class. But the next class could not be called until most of the first class was through. Now, this caused a problem. There was 20 minutes allotted for each lunch period. But they would spend 15 calling people up. So if you were unlucky enough to be the last table to get called up you by the time you went through the line and sat down you would have five minutes to eat you don't want that also most I mean me personally I didn't mind lunch food like there were certain foods that I didn't like obviously but like I could find something that I like just about every day like you can at least get chicken sandwich or something whatever but um also a lot of people don't like lunch food so it may be better for you to bring your own food just I guess discuss it with your parents, but, you know, because they may make it, or at this point they may say you should make it, but my advice is if you, is go to school the first day, if you get called up last, bring your lunch, so that you can have your entire 20 minutes to socialize and eat as you should. Now, um, now, I'm going to make a part two to this video, because my camera only allows me to record 10 minutes, so I will see you in the next video, and we will continue going to middle school, Mackie's Top 10, Part 2. Peace.